In today's world, having 21st century skills is essential for success in personal and professional life. These skills include critical thinking, problem solving, communication, working in a team, being creative, and staying focused. This video aims to show how these skills relate to sports and physical activities and why they are important in the 21st century. Let's know from the practitioners of Sports for Development, S4D 1x1, about every skill and how sports and physical activities can really help in providing a brief overview of how critical thinking can be developed through the medium of sports and physical activities. Hi, my name is Isha and I work as a Senior Project Officer at Pro Sport Development. Pro Sport Development is an organization that uses sport to promote the holistic development of young children. Uh, we have been working for the last 10 years. We uh, implement programs with young children directly uh, in Bhuvneshwar, uh, where we use multi-sport uh, curriculum to work around different uh, social development outcomes. Uh, we also train uh, other organizations and individuals on how they can use sport as a tool uh, to promote development uh, or to work around social issues. Uh, and we try to build their uh, facilitation skills. And we have also been doing uh, research and evaluation for other uh, sport-based organizations, helping them assess their impact. So this is what our organization has been doing. Uh, to sp specifically talk about critical skills, uh, since I mentioned that we are working directly with children in Bhuvneshwar, uh, we through our programs try to uh, develop different skills and critical thinking uh, is uh, definitely one of them. Uh, so <clears throat> I feel uh, sport and physical activity has a very important role to play in uh, developing critical thinking as uh, again a lot of games that we also implement are team based so wherein the teams are observing and analyzing uh, the opponent's movements as well as their own movements and uh, and after these observations they build the strategies so that is how critical thinking is sort of utilized so for example uh, in table tennis uh, we do have a community table tennis program so even uh, during the facilitation of the program and during the coaching, uh, the coaches sort of focused on uh, observing the strengths and weaknesses of the opponent. So for example, if uh, the strength of a player is uh, their backhand, then uh, then the other player can decide how they want to play their shot and what kind of shot do they want to play so that uh, the other uh, player or the opponent, that is how critical thinking uh, is promoted through our programs also. So some of the things that facilitators can do uh, to integrate the development of critical thinking is uh, again uh, ask participants to come up with their own uh, strategies, uh, like I said, uh, which involves uh, them to think. And secondly, um, in the debrief section, uh, they can ask questions uh, to the participants uh, on uh, everything that happened during the game. Uh, they can ask them to reflect uh, on what happened during the game and then uh, sort of analyze the outcome of the game depending on those observations. So these are the, my two suggestions on how critical thinking can be uh, promoted during the facilitation of sport-based activities. S4D harnesses the power of sport and physical activity to go beyond mere physical development and enjoyment. It utilizes sport as a tool to empower individuals, promote community development and bring about positive social change.